Well, recording? Yes, recording. Well, here it is, guys. Finally, two months in the making. And uh, here we are. It's 99.9% uh, .9 complete. Still have a few more things to do. You know, I have to finish hooking up the horn and a couple more other, other things, but this guy's done. You know, I installed the cyclone. The front derailleur still doesn't work. I'm, I'm sorting out. I need a new piece to make it fully functional. As you guys can see, I had to do some serious reinforcement for these. I'm using a double idle wheel. You guys can see doubler idle wheel. This is going to be eventually a chain guide. So I can use the two chain rings in here. Other than that, it's fully operational. My two MTG2 headlights are operational here. It's gonna have a couple HXPs as high beams. I just haven't hooked them up yet, but um, I mean, this thing is a stupid bright already, so that might be something for, for down the road. So I reinforced the, the motor bracket. It's held here. Great 12 9 bolts. I used them here. Paco didn't send me the correct bolt, so I had to kind of figure out my own custom solution. I drilled a hole. This is holding the motor and preventing any flex because I'm holding it in two different spots. One here at the frame of the mounting brackets, which is pretty tight. Then the other one is actually directly bolted to the motor. Because it's directly bolted to the motor, it prevents any movement of the motor itself. And this other one prevents any movement, any torsional flex from the bracket. So with these two, you know, I've already tested with the brakes, you know, not, I mean, you can see the tube and everything slightly kind of bending, but no flex anywhere in the motor, you know. Anyway, so this is kind of like the main setup in the motor, you know, as you can see, Cycle Analyst 2.4, right now it's running 69.5, I haven't charged the batteries, you know, the batteries and everything, you know, it's, it's kind of underneath the cowling, the the cool fairing that I built for it, you know, it's all molded plastic. It took me a little bit of time to put it all together. These are the Givi E21 bags that I took the idea from, from another guy on the internet. I really like the way they look and they make the track really useful. You know, I put some hand rest in here. I use a select shifters, speed shifters. I am, I can't stand those um, lever shifters that you have to kind of fiddle around and this is like a Formula One. You click, 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 and you get the gears, you know. So another thing that I did is, in here, as you guys can see, it's got something really cool. You know, I built my own HOTAS, hands-on and throttle and stick, like a fighter pilot. You know, it's got everything here. Some of it is still not hooked. You know, this is going to be my high beams. It's going to be the horn. I haven't hooked up the horn or the high beams, but if I plug here, you guys can see the main beams plugging in. If I put this here, I can see the, the ground effects. You know, and these ones over here, this one is gonna hook up the strobe, which I haven't hooked up yet. And this one is pretty cool because that's like, you guys can see it in here, it's got the turn signals. You know, and then if you flip the other one, you guys can see the other one over there turning in. And then there's another one in here, which I haven't hooked up yet, which I, another button that I'm gonna use for, I don't know, kind of like a trigger type of thing. We'll see what I do with it, I don't know. I mean, there's plenty of room. And uh, this is the main ignition, and then you guys can see 69.4. I'm gonna leave it off right now, you know. Anyways, here are a couple of XML2s. I hooked these guys in, in series. I'm running 7.5 for the main MTG2s, you know. So these gives me about three point something at level at the emitters and makes them fairly bright, you know, I probably should use some red lock type to kind of hold these guys together. Anyways, the Givy bags are here, you know, there's the more calling, all the electronics and everything, as you can see, everything is kind of compact and self, self contained in there. I still have one wire to, to hide, these I'm probably gonna put in a box inside here, kind of route everything underneath, you know, other than that, you know, this is the cyclone and you know my little candy egg beater pedals and let's go for a ride see how it runs and you know this is my first ride I haven't actually tested this thing with me on it I mean I've tested it on the bench but you know I have no idea how is it going to ride so wish me luck next video the thing riding